This is the Absentia acrocanthosaurus, the high-spined lizard. It was first discovered in Oklahoma with an almost completely intact skull. It is also related to other dinosaurs like Allosaurus. All right, everybody, we've been waiting a long time for this one, so let's get right into it. This is our default subspecies. Our next one is supposed to have exposed teeth. I don't really see too much of a difference. It might just be a little bit harder because the teeth kind of blend in here. Then we have the videos where you can definitely tell the difference in the nose shape right here and the ridges over the eyes. Our next one's a bit more compact. The spines are not as high. We still have the same thing with our nostrils here. The arms look a little bit longer, beefier. Our next one looks a lot like a Carcharodontosaurid. His spines aren't as high and he's a lot more compact. The shape of the face is also vastly different. This one is wild. The spikes along the back are actually high spined and the eyebrows right here. Then you also got some on the dewlap down here. I like this one a lot though, it's pretty intimidating. Then we have a much skinnier one way smaller it still has a couple of spikes on top but its face in general is a lot smaller this one is basically like our default but it also has the spines on the back and the eyebrows and the nostrils a little bit and this is our scientifically accurate as it says over here which actually it doesn't have any spines protruding from the outside this one right here is very interesting it definitely has a bit more of an allosaurus look to it especially with the nostrils here in the mouth and you still get a little bit of the spines they are very short though but they go all the way down the tail this one's a lot more giga-esque it's far more squared even though it says Carcardontosaurus here, which is kind of funny because I mentioned it earlier. This one, the spines are extra high. You can see it's way above the eyes here in the back and over towards the tail. It gets a little bit shorter. This one, they stick out even more. And the legs, like the back legs are huge for some reason. They feel extra long. Then we have Apex of the South, Carolini, which is basically Giga based. And it does look pretty similar to the Gigas that we do have. Obviously, it still retains some Acrocanthus sore traits here we're back up to high spines and longer legs for sure then back to our default let's check out the female skin right quick oh it's more green yellowish green there's a little bit of orange still here but it's also darker let's go through these sounds right quick first we have broadcasts Wow, it was very good. I liked it a lot. It was very shaky. You could see the jaw shaking while it was screaming. Very good. To call. A little wiggle. Threaten. Wow. You got the claws out. You got some beating on your chest there and then another come back at you. I like it a lot. Four call. Not scared at all. Talk. A little rumble. Think this is shake? Yep. And then I don't know what this one is. Sniff, I think. It is known for its fabulous sense of smell. See what this one is? Like a look around emote. All over the place. Hmm, a sleep emote? Oh, a yawn. I'm guessing this is a mating emote. Like, be my valentine. You're kind of late, Absentia. And then invite. Same as the two call. All right, here's our baby model. It kind of just looks like a scaled down version of Acrocanthosaur, which is a little sad because that you can tell they put a lot of love and a lot of attention and time into this dinosaur, especially with the number of subspecies we just saw. But let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcasts. <laughs> you just burping the whole time. Too cool. And threaten. <laughs> A 
attitude. Just so much attitude. Work call. Help me. <laughs> Talk. Shake. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Sniff emote. Down on the ground, gathering information. Sniffing about. Looks good. Yeah. Okay, look around. Leaning back a little bit on his hind legs. Checking. Checking low. Sniffing a little bit too. <laughs> he looks at me kind of weird. With a shake at the end. Yawn. Ooh, there we go. And mating for baby? Cute emote. Still a little weird for the baby to have it. All right, let's go through our animations right quick. First is our walk. Going uphill, sorry. Go down a little bit. It's not bad. Slides a little bit. Of course, probably because it has the adult animations. See our run? A bit thumpy. I love the way it looks though. Run for your life. All right, let's sit here. Oh, he lays all the way down, chest to the floor, fingers under. Sleep. A yawn. A shake. We just put the head down. See our get up animation. Oh, he rolls over on his side. And he pushes himself up. He struggles a little bit. Oh my God. Let's see if we have a jump. We do a small jump, but a jump nonetheless. All right, here's our adult model. The default skin looks fantastic on this guy. Like, he looks so good. I might be using one of the other subspecies, but he's good. All right, let's go through the animations right quick. First is our walk. That is very nice. A smooth walk here. Very stepped, you know, very purposeful. Okay, our run. There we go. I'm not as scared, surprisingly, with him running at me. I feel like I should be a little more scared. <laughs> it just waddles a lot. All right, we don't have a jump, but let's sit. There you go, the same. All the way down to the chest. Sleep. A yawn. Head wiggle. Head down. Looking good. Get up. There we go. Rolls over. Yeet! Yeah, so we can get up. Whoa, there we go. Let's try our crouch. That's a nice crouch. It looks really good. Crouch walk. Sneaky. This is kind of scarier than the run, if I say anything. Let's try our precise movement here. It's a little slow, but it's not terrible at all. You can move back. To our left. Our left is very slow. Our right is probably just as slow. Yeah. All right, here's our drinking animation. Here we go. Takes long, deep drinks. Doesn't look around. He's not worried about nothing. All right, here's our swim. Very slow. But he's very big, so kind of makes up for it. There's the feet paddling underneath. He's using his claws, too, a little bit. There's speed swim. That's really decent. That's a great speed for an apex. All right, here's our disturbed burrow animation. He uses his foot. He's not even looking down, honestly. Oh, there we go. A little bit. Hovers above it just a bit. All right, let's see if we can pick it up right here. Get a piece. Not yet. We pick up the whole thing. Put him back down. Here's the eating animation. Step the foot forward. Take a piece off. Flip back. Go back in for seconds. 
it's fantastic all right we're gonna go through the skins right quick this is our male default skin then we have enraged event horizon everglades gang playing galios gila loon osfridge plains sunset hunter water dragon quagga ocelot urutu champion gilded adrian dak leucistic melanistic desert coast and spirit i like like half of them not all of them but it might just be i'm not a huge super bright colors like bright pink let's check the abilities right quick we have two head slots so we have bite bring your ravenous jaws down on enemies to deal medium damage which applies bleed to your target and then headbutt headbutt your opponent to gain a stack of eight percent damage mitigation each stack will last eight seconds until you stack it again or else the stack expires the maximum amount of stacks you can have at one time is five racking up to 40 percent damage mitigation at full stacks cannot be used when you are bone broken and then for our senses we have lone marauder your stamina regeneration rate is increased by 20 percent your damage by five percent and your bone break healing by 30 percent when not in a group noble armor is increased by five bleed and venom resistance increased by 35 and 30 percent knockback reduced ravager your attacks cause 35% more bleed and you gain a 5% speed increase. These are all really, really good. Front limb, we have stamina sever. Lash out with your hook like claws at your opponent's tendons to do damage and tire them out, applying to them a stacking debuff of a stamina sever. Stamina sever drains your opponent's stamina pool by 10% and lasts seven seconds stacking up to five times for a maximum of 50 percent at full stacks interesting i want to see how this works out blood sever lash out your hook like claws as your opponent's hide to do damage and apply bleed to your target to bleed them out enemies hit are applied with a stack of blood sever blood sever applies a six percent bleed debuff that makes your opponent more susceptible to bleed that last seven seconds stacking up to five times for a maximum of 30 percent at full stacks metabolism hyper carnivore gives you five percent armor interesting and then scavenger able to eat bones in addition to meat and fish you have a faster food drain but you get plus 15 percent stamina regen rate for hide oh we have so many high spined increases bleed on your attacks by five percent and increases your attack damage by five percent texas ranger adrenaline through the roof increases your armor by ten percent and increase bone break resistance by 10 percent release your inner chuck norris covalescence you're quick to recover lets you heal 20 percent faster when out of combat high spine your prey drive grants you six percent attack damage and makes you 20 percent more resistant to knockback this is it feels really like it's made for like amarga and other sauropods oh it is called sauropod slayer resilient scales 30% bleed and venom resistance. Oklahoma Strider. Your agile legs increase your acceleration by 10% and increase your stamina pool by 10%. Ooh, I like that. Strong lungs. Your advanced theropod lungs grant you 10% more stamina and 8% faster stamina regen. And then dense bones. Your resilient body grants you 50% bone break resistance. And your strong will to survive grants you 10% slower food drain. So you starve less. You can have two of those at the same time as well. Legs, frenzy, stomp three times in a row to onslaught enemies nearby you dealing AOE with each stomp. These AOE radiuses do lower damage. Additionally, each stomp deals a stacking debuff that slows your opponent on each successful hit by 2.5%, stacking up to six times in total. The slowing debuff lasts for 25 seconds. Cannot be used when you are bone broken. That's wild. Parry, shove your mighty body forward to act as a block, mitigating incoming damage. While doing this, you additionally gain immunity to incoming grabs, pounces, bone break, bleed, and venom during the duration of the parry. Low amount of damage and knockback applied to the enemy cannot be used when you are already bone broken. So T-Rex, have a field day with Acro. Tail, we have Swift Tail, 5% speed boost. Tail attack does medium damage. Balance, get 10% turn radius boost. That sounds really good. Voice, quarterback's quarry. Let's get ready to rumble. Ready yourself up for combat and channel your roar. While channeling, you gain a 25% damage reduction. After channeling, you will then gain a buff that reduces your cooldowns for the next 30 seconds after casting this roar. Really good if you're an aggressive player. Roar the elders, raise your head high to the heavens and bellow the roar of your ancestors to increase the speed of all members in your group by 6% for 30 seconds. Can be stacked up to two times. You must be grouped to use this ability. Welcome to Carnage. Let there be Carnage Venom reference. Increase the bleed of all Acrocanthosaurs in your group by 18% for 60 seconds. I am very excited looking at these abilities. It looks great and pretty unique for the most part compared to a lot of other abilities we've had so far. I also like the way they did the icons, so stay tuned. All right, let's go through the abilities. First, we have Bite. 
It uses both your arms and it goes pretty low, so that's really good. Next, we have Headbutt. Don't forget this stacks a debuff on your opponent, so you'll definitely want to use this. Then we have Stamina Sever. It's a big grab, shakes you a bit. Almost looks like he wants to bite you there too. Next, we have Blood Sever. Ooh, that was vicious. My God, I like that a lot. The animation for that is wild. Next, we have Frenzy, which is a bunch of stomps. That is crazy. I love that so much. It has about a six second cooldown too. So you can use this pretty frequently. Don't forget, you also get to stack a slowing buff while they're doing that, if they land on your opponent. Next, we have parry here, which is like a shove, pretty much. The good thing about parry here is that it allows you to attack while not getting grabbed, pounced, have bleed or venom applied. Next, we have our tail attack which does medium damage, so that's gonna be really, really good because most tail attacks do light damage. For our voice, we have quarterback's quarry. Ooh, I love that. The kind of like chest pump too, it got me. Then we're gonna have Roar of the Elders. This one you can only use in a group. It is a speed boost, so you can't use it when not in a group. I wouldn't have it equipped but definitely worth using when you do have one. And our last ability is Welcome to Carnage. And that is going to increase your bleed output by 18%, so don't forget that. And that is about it for Acro Kansasaur. I'm actually really excited to play this guy. He looks so good, and the abilities are great. They put a lot of time and effort into this guy. You can tell just by how long it took for them to make it. And then the amount of subspecies is insane. Also, guys, remember, if you like this video, check out my other videos. I cover lots of different mods, also games that are not Path of Titans that you might be interested in. Again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.